heights and distances a person on the top of a hill observed that the angle of depression of two consecutive kilometer stones on a road leading to the foot of the hill and in the same vertical plane contains the position of observer or 30 degree and 60 degree find the height of the hill solution let us consider a hill and the kilometer stone a person is standing on the top of the hill and observe the kilometer stone of an angle of 30 degree and 60 degree let us consider ab height of the hill c and d are the kilometer stone generally the distance between the kilometer stone is 1 kilometer now let us make it as 30 degree and 60 degree ab equal to h are the height of the hill cd be the kilometer stone where we know that cd equal to 1 kilometer bc equal to x in the triangle abc that is a right angle triangle so tan 60 equal to ab by bc we know that tan 60 is root 3 equal to h by x by cross multiplying x equal to h by root 3 consider this as equation 1 now we'll consider the other triangle that is abd angle is 6 30 degree tan 30 equal to ab by bd tan 30 is 1 by root 3 equal to h by x, x plus 1 cross multiplying x plus 1 equal to h root 3 so take the 1 to the other side it becomes minus 1 x equal to h root 3 minus 1 consider this as second equation now by comparing the first and second equation we get h by root 3 equal to h root 3 minus 1 now cross multiply root 3 to the right hand side h equal to root 3 into root 3 is 3 h minus root 3 root 3 equal to 3 h minus h so 3 minus h we can write it as 2 h equal to root 3 h is equal to root 3 by 2 therefore the height of the hill is root 3 by 2 kilometer next problem the angle of elevation of a tower from a point on the ground is 30 degree at a point on the horizontal line passing through the foot of the tower and 100 meters near it the angle of elevation is found to be 60 degree find the height of the tower and the distance of the point from the tower solution understand the question that is a tower is given a person from the ground seeing the top of the tower makes an angle of 30 degree then he moves towards the tower of 100 meter and looks the top of the tower which makes 60 degree we want to find the height of the tower let us take it as ab equal to h and the other point as c and d let ab equal to h be the height of the tower c be the first point of observation with angle of elevation 30 degree as given in the question cd equal to 100 meter now we are getting a right angle triangle abc the angle is 30 degree tan 30 degree equal to ab by bc tan 30 degree we know 1 by root 3 equal to h by x plus 100 now cross multiplying x plus 100 equal to h root 3 x equal to h root 3 minus 100 keep this as equation 1 now we are having another one triangle that is abd tan 60 degree equal to ab by bd 
substitute tan 60 as root 3 equal to h by x find x by cross multiplying x equal to h by root 3 keep this as equation 2 now comparing equation 1 and 2 we get h root 3 minus 100 equal to h by root 3 now by cross multiplying root 3 3 h minus 100 root 3 equal to h now group h in one side 3 h minus h is 2 h equal to 100 root 3 h is 50 root 3 meters therefore the height of the tower is h that is therefore height of the tower equal to 50 root 3 meters now substitute h in equation 2 we get x equal to 50 root 3 by root 3 we can cancel root 3 x equal to 50 for a distance of the first point from the tower equal to 100 plus x that is 100 plus x is 50 so 150 meters next problem a person is at the top of a tower 75 feet high from there you observe a vertical pole and find the angle of depression of the top and the bottom or 30 and 60 respectively find the height of the pole solution first we will understand this question that is a tower is given and a pole is there a person stands on the top of the tower which is 75 feet and the angle of depression is given as 30 degree to the top and 60 degree to the bottom of the pole let us consider h is the height of the pole if we draw a perpendicular line we get c e equal to h and e d equal to 75 minus h let a b equal to height of the pole that is h c d be the height of the tower which is given as 75 feet b c equal to a e now from the triangle b c d tan 60 equal to d c by b c we know that tan 60 is root 3 equal to 75 by bc therefore bc equal to 75 root 3 we have another one triangle we will consider the triangle as aed tan 30 degree equal to de by ae that is 1 by root 3 equal to 75 minus h by bc because ae equal to bc Therefore, BC equal to root 3 into 75 minus H. By cross multiplying, we get this. Let us consider this as equation 2. Therefore, from 1 and 2, we get 75 by root 3 equal to root 3 into 75 minus H. Cross multiply root 3, we get 75 equal to 3 into 75 minus h 75 equal to 225 minus 3 h take the 3 h to the left hand side that is 3 h is equal to 225 minus 75 150 by dividing 150 by 3 we get 50 feet therefore height of the pole equal to 50 feet